There's Cumberbatch. Oh, Andre Cumberbatch, Agent Stewart, he's fouled. No basket, foul is called against the Bulldogs and the Barons defense, you've got to watch them when you take the ball out of bounds, they can put the pressure on. We got an eight point lead now for the Barons, that's what it was at halftime. So the hard work of the Bulldogs for naught as the Barons have come back. Adrian Stewart, one of the county's most exciting athletes. Go up by 10 here. Misses the shot, however. Joseph gets the rebound, and the Bulldogs come back. Bonding. Dupre, who 5'10", had a great slam dunk early in the ball game to excite the home crowd. Misses the free throw, however, and Winter gets the rebound. Nearly stolen again by Stewart. You can't relax against the Barons. 5.48 to go in the fourth quarter. The Barons up 40 to 33 over Churchill. Bulldogs working it, trying to get inside with it. Haven does to Brooks, but it's stolen. Battle for the ball, and the Barons are gonna get an easy layup. Stewart, Adrian on the breakaway. Haven fouls him. Adrian Stewart with a very impressive, strong, strong move to the basket. Remember, Adrian's only six feet tall, but that time jumped above the iron, dropped it in with two hands as he was hit. And the BCC fans are loving it as they sense uh, a kill here, so to speak. Coach Paul Foringer of the Churchill Bulldogs called that timeout. Adrian There's a nine-point lead here by Bethesda, Chevy Chase. Agent Stewart has scored nine points here in this second half and has really ignited the Barons on the defensive end. He's their leading rebounder, believe it or not, at six feet. He can really get up there. Five and minutes. Half-foot trap by the Bulldogs. Five minutes to go in the... And they get the turnover. Winter on the steal, and he's taking it all the way, but misses the shot, and Dupree gets the boards. They come back running. Showtime. Cumberbatch on a three-pointer. Andre Cumberbatch from downtown. Seems the good shooters are also real fortunate shooters for the Barons. He stepped on the line. Oh, we got a foul oh, call. Call it. Calls the foul against Witter. And Stewart will go to the line. Good call. It was contact that time when Agent Stewart went up to receive that pass. 4.20 to go. Barons can go up again by 10 here. They do. Rebounder certainly in the second half. Yes, he's their leading rebounder. Winner with the jumper, short. Maybe uh, partially blocked by Stewart. Yeah, Agent Stewart got a hand on that ball. His winner is too good a shooter to miss like that. Donahue comes up with it. 3.36 to go. They don't have much time. They got to put it up. They're, this is where a patient game hurts you when you need points quickly. Here's Haven. Can't get it. There's the break. Nice pass. Dupre up with it. Makes Adrian Stewart. It's going to be hard to come back. 12 points down. He's a finisher. BCC is trying to avenge an earlier loss, and they're doing it now with a vengeance. And they're going to have to play up-tempo basketball, push the ball up, and get a quick shot off. Look for the three-point attempts to fly. It's Churchill, norm, Churchill normally spreads its scoring around more than they have tonight. Normally, the BCC is shooting in the second, their free throws in the second half, 9 of 15. And they were in the bonus early, which helped them. Here's a steal. Oh, nearly stolen by Donahue. But nice here they pass. come. Stewart is fouled by Brooks. And that'll be an intentional foul, Kelly. That time, Ari Brooks, did, instead of giving up the layup, grabbed him. And the officials called a, an intentional foul. That means 
and Adrian Stewart will go to the line for two shots. There will be no players at the foul line, and BCC will maintain possession. So this could be the final nail in the coffin. I think so. Ten points is hard to overcome. Stewart gets his 19th point. And his 20th. And our stars of the game, we have two of them, Andre Cumberbatch and Adrian Stewart. Cumberbatch with 22, Stewart with 20. Steel. Bulldogs, nice on the steal. Cumberbatch. And at this point, Churchill must foul quickly. If they don't come up with the steal, you have to foul right away. Less than a minute to play. You got to hand it to both Ari Brooks and Jeff Winter. Winter has 10 rebounds and 16 points in this game. And Jarvis makes that free throw to put them up by 11. Jarvis has scored six points. It's a 12 point lead. For 150. And the winner of this game will play the winner of the Whitman Springbrook game. Ianson misses the second one, but look at the Barons go up on the boards. Winter creates that turnover. Here comes Haven. Pass off. Oh, great block! Great block! A feel weight on that block. Here comes Stewart looking to go inside. He's blocked by Brooks. The foul called on Brooks. Stewart will go to the line. Stewart has 20 points. The Barons have got to feel real good about this game. They lost to Churchill earlier in the season by six games. Churchill fans give Ari Brooks a big round of applause. He played a tough game. He's been the, the leading offensive player for the Churchill through the year. Had a great senior season. Stewart makes that free throw. For uh, Churchill left the game with 18 points. Stewart now goes out of the ball game. And Quashi goes out. Ted Bar Baruch comes in. Or Barak, I'm sorry. He's going to take a three-pointer with four seconds to go. He misses at the buzzer. And BCC avenges the loss to Churchill earlier in the season. Both teams congratulate each other. And the Barons will move on to play the winner of the Whitman-Springbrook game. They advance from the semifinals. A terrific game for BCC as they played an outstanding game. Bill Wright's strategy worked against Churchill, prevented Churchill from getting the, inf the inside game going, and also uh, Churchill was unable to get any outside shooting. They did get it, Churchill did get a performance from Brooks and Winter, but uh, the Barons' three guards were able to dominate and it ended up a 10-point difference. And in a moment, Billy Gordon will be interviewing the stars of our game, Andre Cumberbatch and Adrian Stewart. And you see the result here. The best of Chevy Chase Barons, 60, the Winston...